The junior application process starts with this form. Clean Professional asks for some basic information and there's an option to continue at the bottom where they will then be asked a series of questions. Once the applicant finishes filling out the forms, open-ended questions, short answer questions, other open-ended questions, and a variety of other really useful uh, questions for data collection purposes, like this scale, and I believe this is the grid question. Uh, there are also checkboxes, as well as others. Once the applicant finishes filling out those, there will be an automatically generated email. That email will be sent as soon as they submit their responses. So here I've just finished the application. This is the final page. So let's go check the email now to see what that looks like. Here is the automatically generated email that has been sent to the editors, which will be teachers, and peer leadership students, which will be commenters. This has already been sent. I have not done a single thing. This is all taken care of 100% in Google Drive um, using uh, what I'm going to show you later. So we open in Google Docs. I've already done so. On the left, remember, we have the editor and the teacher. So they'll be able to edit um, anything that they want in the document. And they have access to this right here. Um, they will be able to type anything uh, that they'd like. But before I show you what the peer leadership student is going to be able to do, I want to show you just this form in itself. And this was automatically generated uh, using the responses that I just filled out. Here you have a schedule, contact info. This is not set in stone. This can be set to however you feel is the best way uh, to get the information across. I've just given some examples. Here you have a cell phone number. It's in a nice bulleted list. Again, I didn't have to do any of this work. It just is all taken care of, and it's going to be all tracked in this one folder right here uh, called that I just called Junior Docs. And every junior who submits an application is going to have their own little document created um, in exactly this form. So once uh, you have all the applications, the peer leaders will be able to go over here and make comments on anything that they feel uh, is relevant. So right here, I can comment, I had track with him. And that shows up uh, with my name. You can see it in green over here on the left uh, from the uh, teacher's view. When that'll also show up just um, to everyone. And if we scroll over a bit to the right, you'll see the comment uh, that I made. And as a teacher or uh, someone else, you'll be able to resolve or accept suggestion, resolve it, or uh, delete it. And you can also just comment on general things. So if, for example, uh, down here, uh, a question, what interests you about peer leadership? I could, as a peer leader, just come over here, click comment, add a comment, and I could say, this is a great response. And I could comment, and that is available for anyone to come and comment on and have a discussion. This also works for scheduling purposes, when you have to schedule uh, a, a personal interview. Here you could say, oh, I go over here to the comment, uh, and someone could say, I can uh, do the interview, do the interview for him. Uh, I'll accept responsibility, something like that. And as you can see, this already cuts out a lot of time that's spent in class just sort of going over things. and. Uh, this is just available to everyone. It's in one place. It's consolidated, concise, and again, highly configurable to meet the class's needs. I really think that this can benefit uh, the class and save, again, improve efficiency so much. And we can do, s there's just so much potential with this. And uh, I'm really happy I spent a lot of time uh, figuring out what will be the best system. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when a teacher fills out uh, the review. <laughs> Sorry for the pause there. This is what it looks like from the teacher's perspective and what they're going to be doing. This application is for teachers, uh, faculty applicant review form. Uh, I already have this set up 
for last year, or for this year, rather. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to change this list right here. Which applicant are you submitting a review for? Um, it did not take me 20 hours to paste in all of these uh, names. All I had to do was just come right over here using this new add-on uh, that lives in here called Doc Appender we're going to select the Junior Docs folder that we created before. I've already selected it. We're going to click Next and it's going to ask us to pick a question that determines which document it is going to append the response to this form. So what this add-on is doing is it's taking the teacher's review of the student and it is going to paste it at the end of the Google Docs that was created when the junior submitted the application. Um, I apologize if that's complicated, I'll show you. Um, right here, so this David Leach file, that lives in this folder. What I just told the Chrome add-on to do is to select this folder and all the documents in it, take the titles and put them into this question. So now you see in this question, has David Leach because that is the only document that is currently in this folder. So, done. Next. Uh, here we select which questions we want to be appended to the document. Um, we're going to want the timestamp. Uh, we're going to skip out on the username. That will be available again only to uh, peer leadership teachers, uh, not peer leadership students, uh, just for uh, anonymity's sake, and we're just going to check all of these uh, questions. And we're just going to put it into separate bulleted lists, or rows in a single horizontal table, whichever, whichever one we can pick. Uh, let's try the bulleted list for now. Enable and reminder, Doc Appender will run on your account when form submissions arrive. So again, there is almost there is zero work outside of what I just showed you um, to make this work. Now that we're ready to send it to the teachers, all we do is we come up here, top right, send form. We can just type in their emails, or just paste in if we have a list, whatever. It's just pasted in right there, and we can just click on send and that will just send to all of them and they can get to it um, at their convenience. Now we're just gonna role play a teacher outside of peer leadership and what it looks like from their perspective. They are going to be getting an email that looks exactly like this and it's going to have all the applicants here in this drop down menu so no typos and they're gonna be able to select it and go through and fill out um, this form. Again, I'd recommend that we just fill it out in the actual uh, Google Forms. So that's what I'll do. Here it looks all nice and pretty and also using it, uh, filling it out in the actual Google Forms uh, lets you do things um, like fill it out with your keyboard. Uh, so right here I can just whiz right through and uh, fill this out uh, using just arrow keys and tab. Um, I put tips at the top and here they'll just leave some open-ended questions. Um, um, just filling out anything um, that we want to for this uh, David Leach character. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it. Why not? Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll submit. And then once we've submitted it, remember we're in the teacher role now, we'll see this page and it'll give us the option to submit another response. And this is actually really useful because this is where teachers are going to select multiple applicants from this drop-down menu, uh, anyone that they know, and they're just going to fill it out for each of them. They'll hit submit again and uh, that's what they'll do. That'll just be the process. And then what that's going to do, let's see if it already did it over here, it should. Yep, it's already done it. Look at that. I have not even paused the video. Doc Appender and its magic has taken the submission, uh, drawn a horizontal line, and then just pasted it all right in here where we can look at it and view. And again, if we want to, um, as a peer leader, you'll be able to go in here in the suggestion mode and uh, you can say um, that this is... Oh. oh. 
this is interesting. And, you know, there can be discussion about this. Uh, any, anything is really possible in this, and it all makes it uh, really easy because it's all just right there and just enables and powers, really, peer leaders and the teachers to make the best decisions. I haven't even gotten to the Excel part yet and the data that you can get from it. Um, I'll just show you quickly now what that sort of look like, looks like. This Google Sheets document is also automatically generated uh, on each sub each response submitted from the junior application. There's also another one generated from each um, teacher submitted application, but um, we'll go over the uses for that another time. I just wanted to give you a general overview and ask for any questions that you may have. Here you can just see all the uh, all the questions that are asked in the junior application form. Uh, you can take these, uh, you can make charts out of them, and there's so much uh, that you can really do with this, but uh, we don't have time for right now. So I just want to give you the overview, show you what's possible with the Google Docs and the Google Forms and the Google Sheets. Um, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs>